Welcome to Atlantic Laser Works and another episode of Things I Love About Lightburn. I want to talk about text that's not behaving. As you can see here, I've got the word clearance and my capital letter isn't joined with the small letters. I can change the horizontal spacing and now you see, okay, the small letters have come apart, uh, put them closer together and oh, there my capital has joined but I've got these funny bumps where the rest have gone too close, so that's not going to work this time. But it's easy enough to fix. Um, I'm just going to edit the text. Let's take this capital C off here, click over here. Let's make another capital. I'll select that. Now I can move it around, position it exactly how I want. I do love in Lightburn how easy it is to join text. Let's just center it here. So. I'm pretty happy with the position. Fill around a little bit. For the most part, your text will automatically join and like Boolean join, and that's fantastic. But here, I'm gonna select these two. There's the Boolean actions. I'm gonna join that. You can see the lines have disappeared from the middle. It's all gonna cut as one piece uh, or burn, if that's what I was doing. I'm gonna ungroup it and edit the nodes though, because you can see how this bumpy here, and I don't like that. I'm a bit OCD when it comes to text and font. So nodes are your friend. It's so easy to work. Hover over, delete, just press D. When you're hovering over the node, it'll delete that, no problem. If I wanted to insert one, I could press I. So here I need to smooth it. I need it rounded in between the nodes. So I just hovered over the line and clicked S and that has made it smooth. Here we got again. I'm just gonna move this one Move this one. You can see there's no little purple nodes between. That means it's not smooth. So click S. There's my smoothing nodes. Now I can curve this line. And then from here on in is basically just tweaking it how you want it to get a nice smooth curve that matches up with everything else. Now once you have turned your text into a path like this, uh, you will not be able to edit it as text anymore. I mean, if you need to, you can go up into your undo and go undo, 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 undo uh, <laughs> until you're back at the beginning steps. But make sure you're happy with what your text says before you turn it into a path. Um, and sometimes you'll go up into the menu and convert to path is not an option. Usually when that happens, it's because there's multiple lines. So then you just need to go up to that top bar and click on the single person head which is also called ungroup. Um, if there's multiple lines, it won't convert them all to a path at once. So like with this word clearance, the middle of the E, the middle of the A, um, those were separate lines. So until I ungrouped them, I was not able to turn this into a path and you can't edit the nodes until it's a path. So yeah, tweak, 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 easy peasy. I. I just can't get over how easy it is to work. Like I have worked with other design programs and Lightburn, the node editing is so simple. There it is, done, it has clicked into place. Now I can just go ahead and do whatever I want with these. Thanks for joining, see you next time.